Hey guys, Magic Master here, and today I'm going to be showing you a trick called Further Than That, and I've actually added a couple of my own twists onto it to make it a little more humorous. It's kind of hard to do without an assistant, but we'll make it work. But before we get into that, I have some things to tell you about the giveaway. So first I'm going to tell you what you guys already know if you watched my last video. I'm giving away the Bicycle Red deck, the Bicycle Blue deck, and the Bicycle Red Dragon deck. And all you have to do is enter is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and comment something down below you like about the channel. Limit of three comments per video, but if you have two different accounts with a different name or profile picture, you can comment three comments per account. But if your different accounts have the same name and profile picture, you can only do three comments on one of your accounts because I won't know if you're cheating or not. And I've noticed some of you guys have been commenting three things you like in one comment. That counts as one comment, guys. You have to break it up into three different comments if you want to increase your chances of winning. Because the more you comment, the more chances you have that you might win. And for this video and all the upcoming videos, you can say the same things that you did last video that you like about the channel. Or if you can think of some new things, that's fine too. Just comment down below what you like about the channel. And I apologize for not replying to some of your guys' comments, but there's just a whole bunch of comments coming in because of the giveaway. And I think I'm just going to stick with loving your comments for now, and I promise I'll get back to replying after the giveaway is over. Also, if you have not already, go watch my introduction for my Contraband by 311 deck review and Pharaoh Shuffle tutorial video. It is a pretty important one. Finally, go subscribe to JTrix Cards Galore and Challenge Tube. I'll leave links to all three of their channels in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the performance. So, I'll just start by giving the deck a quick cut. And like I said, this is kind of harder without an assistant or spectator, but we'll make it work. So, I would start by saying most tricks start by having the spectator pick a cut. And they'd start reaching for a card, but we're not going to do that today. Because this trick goes further than that. I'm actually going to have you give me a number between, oh, 10 and 20, let's say. So let's say they say 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, this could be your card, but this trick goes further than that. We're actually going to add up the two digits of your number. So 4 plus 1 is 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. If this is your card, go ahead and memorize it. I'm not looking. Alright, now set the rest of those cards on top and set that on the deck. Now, I could just tell you what your card is, but this trick goes further than that. I'm actually going to have the deck tell me. The deck is going to whisper to me. Okay, the deck says your card was the nine of diamonds, right? No, that wasn't your card. Um, oh, shoot. I thought I might not get it. I, I made a reminder for myself earlier today. Um, let's see. I think this is it. Was that your card? Yes, it was, right? But this trick goes further than that, because if we actually spell out your card, A-C-E-S-P-A-D-E-S, -E -E your card appears. But this trick goes further than that, because these three cards are the other three aces. But this trick goes further than that, because all these cards are a run of spades. But this trick goes further than that, because if we deal down the next four cards... We have a royal flush, and you can't go any further than that. Alright guys, that was the performance, and let's get right into the tutorial. So, this trick does require a setup, as you guys can probably guess. So, you'll need to get out the ace through seven of spades, and then the ten through king of spades, and then the other three aces. And now I'll show you guys how to set this setup up. So, you start with the seven of spades, then the six of spades, 
then the five of spades, then the four of spades, then the three of spades, then the two of spades. And then you go over to the other three aces and then you alternate red ace, black ace, red ace, and then the ace of spades, which is black ace. And then the last four cards go king, queen, jack, ten. So now you have a setup of seven of spades on the top, then six of spades, five of spades, four of spades, three of spades, two of spades, red ace, ace of clubs, red ace, and ace of spades, and then king of spades, queen of spades, jack of spades, ten of spades. And then this whole setup goes on top of the deck. Now, and then you can also like, you can do the reminder thing, like you can write down ace of spades and then just have that in your pocket or something. So, you start by, you can give it a false cut or whatever, and you tell them this trick is called further than that. And you'll see why in a little bit. So, that wasn't the greatest cut in the world, but whatever. So, you start by saying, most tricks start by having the spectator pick a card. And you spread the deck out like you're going to have them pick a card. And as they start reaching for the deck, you say, but we're not going to do that today. And you score it up. That might get a laugh or two or something like that. You say, because this trick goes further than that. You ask them to give you a number between, oh... Pretend like you're trying to make up your mind and then say 10 and 20. So let's say they gave you 14, like we did for the performance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Set the deck down. And then you say, this could be your card, but this trick goes further than that because we're going to add up the two digits of your number. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the fifth card will be their card. And it's always going to be the ace of spades. It's just, it works out that way. It's mathematical. So then you say, memorize this card, which will be the fifth card. Because we added four and one together, that equals five. So their card is the fifth card, which is going to be the ace of spades. Have them memorize that. And then place it here. Take the rest of the cards in your hand. Place that on top of there. And then take this whole packet, place it on top of the deck. And now you say, I could just tell you what your card is, but this chick goes further than that. I'm actually going to have the deck tell me. And then you take the deck, hold it up next to your ear, and then just riffle through the deck like that. And you say, okay, the deck says your card was the, and then you name a wrong card. Like, let's say nine of diamonds and they'll say no that wasn't my card or something like that and you say oh wait a minute i thought i might get it wrong i made a reminder for myself i have it here somewhere and then you kind of like reach into both your pockets or something pretend you're feeling around for it and then you pull it out of your pocket and you say oh yes here it is was that your card and then you show them the ace of spades on the piece of paper and they'll say yes that was my card and then you say wait this trick goes further than that because if we actually spell out your card, A-C-E-S-P-A-D-E-S, -E -E spell out ace spades, and then you flip over the next card and show your card appears. But this trick goes further than that, because these three cards are the other three aces. Flip those over, but you say this trick goes further than that, because these cards are a run of spades. And then you say, but this trick goes further than that, because if we deal down the next four cards and then deal them face up one by one, we have a royal flush. And you say, and we can't go any further than that. Alright guys, that was the trick. Hope you liked it. Good luck in the giveaway, and I'll see you next time.